Okay, now, now you know your ascendant sign. You will know what ascendant you are. You are Scorpio, you are Taurus, you are Pisces, right? Now look at your birth chart and you identify where is your Venus. Okay, so now we talk about Venus in ascendant in the second and the third house. Okay, let's go. Uh, this is the birth chart, still remember? When Venus is right on top, right? This is what we call Venus is in the ascendant. Venus is in the first house. Okay, so what does it say about this, this person? If you have a Venus in your, in your first house, in the ascendant house, it means that for you to actually earn money, you must look after yourself first. Because ascendant represents ourselves. Represent is, sorry, first house is who we are. The ascendant is what we look like, how we are. Okay, when Venus is right there, Venus is telling you, you must take care of yourself. Now, sounds easy, right? But of quite a lot of uh, clients I see, right? When they have Venus in the first house, they usually don't take care of themselves. <laughs> they usually don't do makeup. They, they, they are like, uh, you know, they have this, uh, I don't care kind of attitude towards themselves. Mm. Yeah. Now, this is a challenge. For anyone who has Venus in the first house, you must first and foremost take care of yourselves. Take care of yourselves in terms of, of your looks. Okay? Don't, don't go out just like that without any light makeup, especially for the ladies. You know, the, the, uh, the Chinese they call it what? Su mm. yen. The, <laughs> the, the very naked way of, of presenting yourself to other people. Okay? Mm. When your Venus is in the first house, Sorry, you must do at least some kind of simple makeup. You must dress up. Okay? You must smell nice. Okay? Why, why, why is that? Because Venus is all about that. Okay? Only by doing that, right? Then you can use or tap into Venus's energy. Okay? Health. Okay? Your, your looks, your, your looks, your health. All this must be looked into and looked after before you can even talk about Venus giving you wealth. So, for example, if let's say you are facing difficulties in life, right? Then you look at, you look at yourself in the mirror. Are you doing something for yourself? If you are not right, then channel your energy into that, into that area. Stop looking for money. Look after yourself first. This is what Venus is telling you. Okay? Okay. Yeah, Venus in Ascendant. Huh? Oh, okay, this is what we call Venus in the second house. Okay. Okay, this second house. Now, what is second house? Second house talks about your family. The family you were born in. Okay. Second house is also a finance house. It talks about money. But what kind of money? Your bank account, your savings account. All right. And Venus in the second house the second house talks about your throat area. Okay? Hmm. Uh, so what, what does this mean? It means that Venus wants you to take care of your family first. If you neglect your family, right, then you will not be so-called blessed by Venus. You know, there are some people who, who just want to go after money, but they don't care about family. Right? They don't care about their father, mother. Yeah. With a Venus in second house, once you do that, right, you start seeing that you lose a lot of money because you are not focusing on where Venus is. Okay? Just how I say throat, right? This person cannot curse. You mm. shouldn't curse. Right? You should... It, it, that, that's this saying, uh, if you have nothing good to say, then just shut up. Mm. You have nothing good to say, don't say. Right? This is... this uh, The position of Venus here is telling you Say good things. Praise people. Okay? Talk about good things. Venus will help you. And then I said this second house is about your savings account, right? Okay? So, now, savings account meaning to say that you, you want to accumulate wealth. If you have $100, save $20, 30 Okay? So, for such a person, it's actually not that difficult. If you have Venus in second house, right? You just save whatever money you can save from your income. And as you grow your savings, right, your wealth will start to increase. 
Mm. Uh, this, these are the people who can be a bit of miser. Mm. <laughs> no, I don't want to spend so much. This month, I'm going to spend this much only. I just want to, you know, save more. Yeah. If you are Venus in the second house, you can try to save more in order to earn more and have more wealth. So, so yeah, this person will be good in savings, should be good in savings. Mm. Right? But it doesn't apply to everyone. Huh? If your Venus is the second house. Okay. But of all the three things, the most important thing is family. So please, Venus in second house, don't ever neglect your family. Now Venus comes here. Venus is in the third house. Okay, what is third house? Now third house, first and foremost, talks about your younger siblings. Okay, not your elder siblings, your younger siblings. And since it's Venus, or especially if you have uh, female siblings, okay, your young sisters, younger sisters. Venus in the third house, we also talk about neighbors, your neighbors. The third house talk, talks about neighbors. And third house talks about your self-efforts. Third house also talks about communication, similar to the second house. So like the Venus in second house, when you have Venus in third house, also you do not want to curse. Mm. And you find that when you engage in, in if, you have a, if you have a very quarrelsome um, uh, kind of personality, you'll find that Venus will not bless you. Mm. Right? Third house is communication, right? So if you are that quarrelsome person, you know, every time you go to meet other people, you always end up quarreling. Um, then you will find difficulty in getting well. Third house is also about neighbors. Uh, if you have Venus in the third house, treat your neighbors well, especially those aunties. Mm. Okay. They will give you a lot of things back. Right? Venus in third house, never ever quarrel with your neighbors. As well as your younger siblings, okay, and and like I mentioned just now, third house younger siblings Venus there, the important the important ones would be your female siblings, younger mm. siblings, take good care of them, okay. Even if they are they are or they always ask you to pay, just pay, okay. Venus will let will will sort so called give you back. Mm. Three, four times more. Uh, so don't bless be, you back. Bless you back. Yes. Don't. So don't be a miser. Okay. Venus in the third house always be the one to want to pay for your family. To always be the one to want to pay for siblings. Hmm. When you go for short trips, pay for it. Okay. Right. So this is Venus in the third house. Hmm. 